I am not exactly known for making modern builds in The Sims. I have more of a blue suburban reputation. I just don't really like modern houses. I don't think I'm very good at building them, and so I don't really build them all that often. And this kind of poses a problem for me when a new Sims pack comes out and it's full of more modern furniture. Because I can build modern things, and I do sometimes, but it's just not my preference and it's not really my style. So sometimes that new stuff looks a little bit weird in my regular builds, and I am always trying to think of ways to use those new Sims pack items in maybe new ways that it wasn't originally intended for. To give an example, like how can I use that bathroom clutter kit to decorate my kitchen? Is any of it usable in other rooms or is it kind of just stuck to the bathroom? I'm always trying to be creative with the new stuff that we get, and we just got a brand new stuff pack called the Home Chef Hustle Pack. It's basically a kitchen set, it's got some new kitchen appliances, and the kitchen furniture itself is very modern looking. So I've been trying to figure out if I can stretch this kitchen set and use it in other build styles. And this is going to sound really, really weird, but I'm gonna try to build a super old Tudor style house using the new Home Chef Hustle Pack. I do have a vision for this, and I feel like it makes a little bit more sense once you hear the backstory. So we know the style of the furniture and the new recipes that were added in this pack kind of have a European influence to them. The team that made it is based in Europe. It's like the EA Europe folks that made this pack. So I was kind of wanting to do a slightly European inspired house with this pack, and Tudor style houses are one of my favorite build styles of all time. So it got me thinking that maybe I could try to combine the two. And then I was also thinking about a lot of the British houses that I've seen. My husband is British, so that's kind of where my personal experience with this comes in. I've not been to a lot of places in Europe, but I have spent a lot of time in the UK over the years. Now obviously not every British home is like this, but a lot of times in these British homes they'll add a slightly more modern extension or addition onto the house. You might see a super super old brick house with like a big glass box added onto the back. And I kind of like that juxtaposition of like the super modern and the super old house put together. This is a little embarrassing, but to be honest, I'm kind of thinking about what Zoella's house looks like. There's this YouTuber called Zoe Sug. You may have heard the name Zoella back in the day. I was a massive fan of hers for years, and I still watch her vlogs sometimes. And their house is kind of like this. They have like a big giant addition on the back, and it's like very, very, very modern. I think even the roof is glass on their addition in the back. So I was kind of channeling that sort of vibe when I was adding this big glass box onto the side of the house. And then with the furnishing and with the interior of this house, I was picturing that it's an older house that maybe has been renovated. So the floor plan got a little bit reworked, they updated the kitchen, but maybe the bedrooms are super old still, maybe they have some old original flooring still. And I was kind of trying to make that interesting combination of both old and new, much like what you would find in real life. Obviously in real life you might slowly renovate over time and like do a bathroom and then do the kitchen. So that's kind of what I was picturing. So hopefully that makes the shape of this make a little bit more sense because the big glass is probably throwing you off a little bit, but I swear it does come together. This is one of my favorite houses that I've ever built. I'm really, really proud of what this one looks like. And just a quick disclaimer, obviously I am aware that not all British people live in fancy renovated houses like this. I just said I am basing this off of a famous YouTuber's house and their fancy renovated mansion. So let's just be clear. <laughs> I don't have some idea that British people have fancy modern houses all the time, okay? I built this on my Twitch stream first, and my Twitch chat was like, what is wrong with you? I'm British and my house isn't like this, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I know, I said it was inspired, and, and some of them are, obviously most of them aren't anyway. It's just good to clarify, I think. Twitch chat can be so funny sometimes. The internet just lacks nuance occasionally, and, and that's where issues like this tend to arise. The exterior on this by far took me the most time to figure out though, which I think is normal. It was kind of hard for me to think like where the window should go, and where this bump out should go, and how does the bump out fit in with the rest of the building? Like it was just kind of difficult to figure out how it was gonna work, and then once we got that part solved, it all came together pretty easily. Now, I used quite a few packs here on this build, so I must apologize. <laughs> For starters, some of the main things that you're seeing are obviously the get-together wallpapers that has like all those pretty Tudor wallpapers and nice paneling, so there's a lot of get-together here. And then I also used the cottage living windows because they have this nice wooden color, and they've got these pretty shutters and the pretty diagonal details, so I used cottage living all over the place out here. And then I also used eco lifestyle windows because the 
those big black glass windows are from Eco Lifestyle. So a very interesting combination of packs happening here. Oh, and the fence. There's this nice brick fence that's actually from the Romantic Garden stuff pack. I use Romantic Garden a lot here too because I put those flowers all over the place. So once I start landscaping, you'll see. I actually did live stream this build too. So if you want to go back and watch the full thing, like the full video, three hours of me trying to work on it, I can link it down below for you. I post all of my live streams on YouTube once I'm done streaming them. My second channel is just called More Simsy, and obviously I actually live stream them on Twitch, and my name is just Lil Simsy there, so I'll link both of those things for you. It's a different experience watching live builds because obviously it's not sped up, so it's gonna take me a little bit longer than you're used to to finish this. You also get to see the extended indecisiveness that comes with me building because most of my videos, I cut out that stuff. If I like try 15 different couches, you won't see that in the YouTube video, but if I do it on Twitch, well, you've got to sit through the whole thing. I am really not selling my streams right now. I swear they're fun. They're so fun. And you also can help me. You could like, you know, suggest an alternative couch, <laughs> which could help speed up the process. And speaking of indecisive, it took me a very, very long time to figure out the floor plan in here. The floor plan was probably the hardest part because there's windows everywhere and it's a very strange shape. And I always like to have a big wall to put like a TV or a fireplace on. And there wasn't a lot of space for that in here. So I went back and forth a lot with the living room. It was kind of difficult. Floor plans are so weird in The Sims because sometimes they just come together so easily. I swear you just draw some walls and all of a sudden it makes sense. But then you get a house like this and it is not easy and it does not make sense. This one took me a long time to figure out. Well, while past Simsy tries to figure out this floor plan, I've got a couple life updates for you. I like to use these speed builds as a chance to just kind of talk for a sec. And my biggest life update is that I'm going to TwitchCon soon. So I'm kind of pre-recording right now. I'm trying to make sure I can get videos finished so I can be gone for a few days and still upload, which obviously is like a whole thing because then I have to make twice as many videos all at once. So I'm feeling a little bit, um, I guess I'm feeling a little bit simmed out right now, <laughs> which makes sense. I normally live and breathe Sims, but at a time like this where I'm recording double the amount of normal, I really am living and breathing Sims, so bear with me. I don't know how many of you are going to be at TwitchCon, but if you are planning on going, TwitchCon is in Vegas this year, which I don't know, I'm a little nervous about. I get nervous about conventions in general. Anytime there's a convention, I usually go to like TwitchCon every year, but I just have a lot of anxiety about it. So <laughs> the closer it gets, the more nervous I'm getting. I think that's normal. I think it makes sense that I would be anxious about it. I feel like everybody's kind of nervous about conventions just in general, especially with COVID, but even beyond the, the COVID part, I just have anxiety. So <laughs> going to a crowded, busy place is, is unpleasant for me. I am doing a lot better with like public speaking engagement type things at these conventions though, because I've done quite a few panels now. So I feel a lot more comfortable about panels, which is honestly shocking because when I was in school, I did not even want to get called on to answer a question. Like even answering a question would freak me out, but now I can do a panel and answer only questions. So I don't know, I guess that's good. That's that's improvement. That is personal growth, my friends. And I'm also doing a meet and greet, which I'm getting better at as well. So <laughs> the more you do it, the better you get. It's, it's still just kind of nerve wracking. But anyway, we're actually working on the kitchen now. You can see I'm kind of going for a totally different vibe in this kitchen that I normally have been. This whole house is kind of dark in color scheme. In my other kitchens that I built with this pack, I was using a lot of white and like bright and airy colors and pastel yellow and stuff like that. But this one, I used the black swatch and that like sort of dark gray and brown color scheme. It's like a dark gray, blue and brown all put together. And I also put a washer in here. This is kind of a fun thing to note. I'm sort of annoyed by it because I wish that we had a combination washer and dryer. We only have the separate appliances. And in real life, a lot of times they would have a combination washer dryer. It's not unrealistic to have only a washer. It's very common to hang your clothes to dry, but I just personally, as a person who plays The Sims and also does laundry in real life, I would prefer to have a dryer, <laughs> but I put the washer in there. And then the other annoying thing is that it doesn't slot into the counter. It's the exact same height as the counters, but it doesn't slot into the counters. So you can't have the countertop go over top of it. And in real life, it would. In real life, the counter would carry across the top of it, especially in like a fancy renovated kitchen like this. But unfortunately it's The Sims 4 and we can't do that. So I couldn't. Now this washer in the 
kitchen is very common in a lot of places in the world, but where you're from, it might not be so common. Like I live in the US, it's very, very, very uncommon to have a washer in your kitchen. I guess maybe in an apartment you might have that, but for the most part, I feel like apartments here either have like shared laundry in the basement or something, or maybe if it's in unit, it'll be in a separate closet somewhere. My old house had a laundry closet next to the bathroom. So it was like just a closet in the hallway with a washer and dryer inside. I also have a lot of experience with laundry in basements in the US. Not here, because I'm in Florida and we have no basements in Florida, but a lot of places have laundry in the basement. Or the Florida equivalent, we have a lot of laundry in the garage here where I'm from, but we never ever put it in the kitchen. I've never seen a house here have laundry in the kitchen. So anyway, all of that to say, laundry is, is in very different places all around the world, and it's not weird to have it in the kitchen, even if it's weird where you are. <laughs> so I put it in there because obviously this is kind of a European inspired house, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. I'm realizing now that I, I don't know if I put a clothesline outside. I kind of forgot about that. So we're gonna have to just pretend that in the kitchen it's a combination washer dryer, even though in the game it is not a combination washer dryer. So it won't, it won't work like that. Um, but just pretend, okay? Or better yet, if you were planning on playing in this house, just delete the washer. <laughs> I never play with laundry. There's a reason I don't put it in most of my builds and it's because I don't use it. I know myself, I will not do my Sims laundry. It's not like an active choice to ignore the laundry and I don't hate laundry. I actually think it's kind of cute to have and it's not even as glitchy anymore. It used to be worse, but it's gotten better. It more just has to do with the fact that I know I won't do my Sims chores properly. It's the same reason I have to have the fancy litter box in the Sims that lasers the poop away. Like I scoop enough litter in real life. I don't need to be doing that in the Sims also. <laughs> I just, I know myself and I won't take care of the chores enough. So I never bother to put laundry in my Sims houses. I just, I play in so many legacy households with like six or seven Sims and it piles up way too much. Maybe I should just make more of an effort to start including it in my builds again. Cause it really isn't that bad. I'm being kind of dramatic. <laughs> Same with the litter. Like I, I can scoop my Sims cat's poop. It isn't that big of a deal. And the laundry is fun cause the dryer might catch on fire. So maybe I should make more of an effort. You know what? Starting today, starting today, I'm gonna try and have my Sims do laundry. How about that? That is a bold statement. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, I'm working on the outside now and you can see what I'm talking about. So much of the build was just figuring out the exterior. The furnishing itself really didn't take that long. We're over halfway through, still doing the outside. I haven't even furnished most of the interior, but the outside is quite fancy. There's a lot of nice things going on. We have a huge patio with a pool and a sunken fire pit. There's like a covered pergola outdoor table. We've got a grill and a bar in the back. I put the grill because I wanted to use the pizza oven outside because I could use the new pack stuff. The side yard even has some garden planters and like some little hangout toys for the kids. I think I have a swing set out there. I built this a couple weeks ago now, so I don't really remember what the bedrooms look like if I'm being completely honest. I was more concerned about the kitchen, which makes sense. That was like the whole inspiration for the build, <laughs> but I, I kind of just uh, forgot about the bedrooms. I guess we'll see. I think there's three bedrooms upstairs. There's two kids rooms and one maybe primary bedroom, but it'll be a fun surprise for both of us to find out what they look like. One of the main priorities I had for the outside though was to have a garden because I knew that I was building this so I could use the new kitchen pack. And so I wanna have a garden so you could plant like all the kitchen plants. You could grow like tomatoes and basil so you can make pizza and all of that. I actually ended up building like a little special garden area in the backyard that's fenced in and closed off. Not that you have to worry about keeping your plants fenced in in the Sims, nothing bad's gonna happen to them, but I did that on purpose because it looked kind of cute. Oh, and I totally failed to mention, this lot is built in Windenburg. It's on one of the big 40 by 30 lots on that little island in Windenburg. That's the world that came with Get Together. I never built here. I actually had to evict one of the default townies so I could build here. <laughs> but it's just been so long since I built on this lot that it was kind of fun to use. I've actually built a couple things out here in Windenburg recently and it's been a long time since I last did. I used to build on this island in Windenburg all the time. Like way back before we had any actual beach lots in the game, I used to pretend that this Windenburg Island was a beach and it's not. It's like a forest and yes, there is water, but there is nothing beachy about this place, okay? <laughs> but I would come here and pretend that it was a beach lot and I would make like a beach house here. I would like cover the whole terrain with sand and then build a beach house here, which is just so funny because now we have Sulani and it's an actual beach world. Even like Chartosa has a beach lot, but we just didn't have that back then. We had to make do with what we had and what we had 
was Windenburg. We are finally moving inside to actually start furnishing the house now. It only took us two thirds of the way through the video to get to this point, but I'm actually working on the interior at this point. Starting with this combination living dining room area, which is kind of weird. It's sort of one big open room. I like to pretend that maybe originally it was more closed off in here, but since we renovated and put the addition on, now there's a little bit more room. And so it's all one big room instead. We've got a little dining table right when you first walk in by these big open glass doors. And I use this kind of cool floral rug that came in growing together, which honestly has some really nice swatches. And then I tried to use that as like the inspiration color scheme for the rest of the build. And speaking of living room color schemes, this took me so long to figure out. I swear to you, I tried like a million different things in this living room. I did not know where to put the TV. I did not know where to put the couch. I just had no clue what kind of couch to use. I went back and forth loads in here, but I feel like what we ended up settling on looks okay. It just took me a long time to get to the point where I was happy with it because I didn't know how modern it should be. I didn't know what it should look like. That's the problem with making this sort of combination build style where like this section probably could have been totally modern over here and, and had like a really strong juxtaposition to the rest of the house. But I just, I didn't really want to do that because I didn't like it. So I tried a million different options. I was using like growing together leather couches. I was using the like cozy couches from Desert Lux kit. I just, yeah. Anyway, sorry you had to watch me be indecisive, but <laughs> I ended up settling on the Desert Lux kit couches and then using a sort of modern TV console. So it's, I don't know, it's not modern. It's just contemporary. I think people hear modern and they think like space ship modern, like super modern. But when I say modern in this case, I mean modern like 2023, current, <laughs> up to date. You know, what's trending now is sort of what I'm thinking. Modern as in not old <laughs> is sort of the description that I'm using here. And then as far as the rest of the house goes, you can see downstairs, we've got like the kitchen off in the corner, the open living and dining concept. And then to the back, there's like a little hallway for the staircase. I've got a very tiny skinny bathroom with just a toilet and a sink and also an office space downstairs. And then upstairs, we've got another couple bathrooms, a hallway, and three bedrooms. The office downstairs could probably be turned into a bedroom if you were going to play in this house with Sims and you needed more space. I like to use downstairs bedrooms for like the teen maybe, <laughs> so they can have a little bit more privacy and have their room downstairs, but that's kind of what I was picturing. If I remember correctly, I think I decorated this house for a teen and for a child, but I could be wrong, because like I mentioned earlier, I don't remember what the rooms look like. I actually have no idea, so we'll find out together. This first room is kind of a blue and purple color scheme, and I see now that it's got a walk-in closet. I forgot about that. That's kind of nice, actually. You know what you could do? If you wanted to, you could put a washer and dryer in that closet, or like the cat's litter box. It's nice to have closet space like that in The Sims, so you can kind of hide away some stuff like that, or maybe even like the decor box from Seasons. I always have a hard time placing that in areas because it's such a weird color. That decor box from Seasons is like bright colors no matter what. There's no plain colors to it, and there isn't even even really holiday colors to it. It's it's just like purple and green <laughs> and like pink and yellow. And I wish that it came in like black or, or red and green or something just because then it would at least, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I just don't like it. Why isn't it in solid plain like white and black though? Anyway, sorry. That was the teens room. This one is more of a kid's area. So it's got like kind of a cute pastel wallpaper, but I did use a double bed in both of the rooms. I wanted to try that horse ranch bed because I've never used it with this wallpaper and I thought it actually actually matched really nicely. It has like kind of a cute tree pattern on the bottom, which I feel like works well with the leafy nature-y wallpaper that I use. The walls are from Cottage Living and the bed is from Horse Ranch. And then I also used a high school year's desk and some high school year's furniture to fit it all together. And somehow they all have the same wood swatch. So miraculously, it kind of made sense. This is almost like more of an older kid's room instead of a, a little kid, like tiny child room. It's hard because kid is like such a long period of time. In The Sims, all the kids are the same age, but like, are the kids seven or are the kids 12? <laughs> it's, it's very different, but this is a fancy kids room for a fancy family in a fancy house. And I think I achieved that plan very nicely. And then last, we've got the primary bedroom. It's just got a nice cats and dogs bed. It has that same growing together rug and a different swatch and some nice kind of pretty colors all put together. It's kind of green and yellow in here. And then that's sort of the finished product for the bedrooms. I did cut out a few parts of this build. I cut out myself doing the bathrooms just for the sake of time. And I also cut out some of the finishing touches and hallways and stuff because you don't need to see me try like 15 different wallpapers. It's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing. I was so unsure of how to paint those walls that I tried a million things. <laughs> as soon as I finish this office space downstairs, I'll go back and kind of show you around the
the whole house and I can point out some of my favorite things and, and we can talk about what the finished product looks like. And then you won't have to sit through me changing things 10 times. But yeah, this office is the last room. I put in a desk and like a little library space and I also included a games table. I've been trying to use the game table more often recently because I feel like for years I just never used it anywhere. And now we have a lot of games on it. You can play cards, you can do puzzles, you can play Scrabble. Like they have so many new games. So I've been trying to place it more often because I kind of forget about it in gameplay. But that my friends, finally <laughs> is the finished build. We've kind of put our last details everywhere. The whole place is officially, finally, finally, finally done. So I'm gonna load my game back up and I will go place this lot so we can look around. I'm so sorry to these Sims, but I built this house here on the lighthouse lot. They're one of my least favorite townie families. It's fine, they can go away. On the gallery, it's called Updated Tudor Home and it costs 130-ish thousand simoleons. And like I mentioned, oh my God, it uses a lot of packs. <laughs> oh no, okay. Let me place this down. One of these days I should go through and renovate some of these houses because some of the default ones in Windenburg are really weird looking. But this is what the outside looks like on the house. We've got kind of a cute little front courtyard area. This little pathway takes you to the front door and I've got a cute little rocking chair in the front there. Around the back, this is probably the best part because you've got a view of the water from this area so you could like sit in the pool and look at the mountains. I put some lounge chairs. I've got this cute little sunken fire pit. Over here, I love this pergola area with the table underneath and how it leads you to the outdoor kitchen. And it's got a grill, a bar, and a pizza oven. And people keep asking, but this pizza oven does work outside. If you look in the grill category, it actually is classed as one of the grills. So don't worry, it's not gonna break outside or anything. You can totally use it outside just fine. We've got a swing set over here. Oh, I did put a clothesline. Oh, good job, Kayla. Okay, laundry is functional here in this house. <laughs> and then this is the little garden area. I put a couple things like tomatoes for you already by default. So it should hopefully function just fine for you. And there's a flower arranging table too. When you come inside the house, you walk in this little front door right here and I've got kind of a cute entryway. I've got space for your keys. You can hang out the mail and stuff here. To the left, I've got some dog bowls. There's a cute little shelf. And then we've got this fun sort of updated kitchen. We've got laundry on this side, the sink and dishwashers here, stove. And then this side has like the mixer and all this stuff. It is functional. You can use this counter to cook on. <laughs> Just the one in the corner works, but don't worry, it's fine. And then in the rest of the house, I've got this dining room with a bookshelf nearby and then we have this kind of huge living room area. There's like some games and a magazine on the table. I've got some blankets and this cool fireplace. And this also has a really nice view from the living room. To the left, we've got the hallway and that tiny bathroom I had mentioned. This is the finished office. I've got the game table and some cute decor in here. There's like some diplomas on the wall and some built-in bookshelves. And when you go upstairs, just a really small little hallway, nothing too fancy in here. To the right, we've got the kids' bedroom and we also have the bathroom upstairs. I use the same stuff in pretty much all the bathrooms and it matches the kitchen tile as well. Over here we've got that teens room and kind of a fun purple and blue color scheme and they've got a walk-in closet. And then last we have the primary bedroom. It's got just like a dresser, it's got a fancy mirror and a bed and some seating and they also have an ensuite bathroom. And that, my friends, is the finished house. There is an attic upstairs but I didn't put much in there. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, that's scary. Wait, look, look, look. I put a skeleton in the attic. Okay, never mind. I did put stuff in there. There's some crates, that dumb decor box. Oh, it does come in red and green. Well, I wish it came in white and black. <laughs> and also a skeleton. Look at him. At least he's got a nice view. Look, you can see the flowers and the water from here. Good for him. Okay, well, anyway, I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this one. I'm pretty proud of this build. This is the kind of thing that I almost wanna make some Sims that I could play with in here. And obviously, if you like this build, I do a ton of building here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed. And I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. I can't believe I just jump scared myself with that skeleton. I put that there because I was planning on tricking you <laughs> and then I forgot and scared myself. <laughs>